hi guys welcome to tech tutorial guide in this video no, i am going to show you how to use external sd card as internet storage on any android devices so before that so we are going to link all of your android application games and obb files data directly to external storage so before going moving to the tutorial we need uh, some of the pre requirements so you must need a 16 gb rls or higher version of memory card and uh, having a higher class to either class 10 so of mine so i am having 16 gb class 10 version of memory card so samsung evo so then after you have to download this mini tool partition wizard which is available under the description so here because we are going to create a partition on our sd cards and link this partition to store the application data directly from your application to the external storage using an application called link to sd so while using the link to sd application you must have root access if you don't know how to root your device as i have placed a link in description to root your device so check it out under the description so from this you can easily root your device so here you can find these are all the partition that are available on my computer so just neglect this basic mbr and basic mbr first this would be the internal hard disk of my laptop and the external hard disk of my laptop so the disk 3 would be the external sd card that we are going to create a second partition so just go to and right click on it and move or resize and uh, up to 6 gb of data would be needed for to store all of my android application and games and obb file so 6 to just uh, i'm using 7 to 7 so just and then after click ok so here just go to just right click on it and select create and just select as and uh, select as primary and use extension file extension 2 so this would be the supportable format for our android devices so keep it in mind you can able to store the music file photos or other files on this 8 gb section alone this partition would be hidden from your memory card so that means you can't able to find this partition until you have format your sd card using this partition wizard tool so then after what you have to do if you are having 16 gb means the 6.9 gb of space would be allocated for extension to file format to store android application data so keep it in mind and don't above don't be confused that because they have lost 8 gb of data from 16 gbs so don't keep it in mind so just select ok and then it will restart the partition creation process just select apply and just select as now it would be take a some amount of time to complete out this process now it will show resizing partition updating system information so after what you have to do you need to download a application from a play store called a link to sd and you must have link to sd plus to directly link this so what you have to do download and install it on your device then after we will I will show you how you can easily link all of your application data to your external storage. If, for example, if you are if you are having WhatsApp and you are, all the data would be directly moved to your external storage and the, all the data would be stored on the external storage alone. So you can easily free up the internal storage de, internal storage. So that's why we are using this method to completely move all of our internal application data to the external storage so this would be take some amount of time to complete the partition creation process because this would be the large file this as i have stored for six gigs six gigabytes of data now the partition creating process has been completed successfully then after what you have to do you need to download link to sd plus application from play store it would be the pied application insert your memory card to your device and uh, download and install link to sd application from play store link to sd it would watch for root access so just allow so link to sd plus users can get this moving features alone so after that it would automatically detect the file extension so just select extension 2 and ok so after that it would ask to your device to reboot your system so because second partition we have successfully created during the boot process it have to link the second partition so here you can find mount script has been 
created successfully but it would ask for rebooting inside the storage info you may find that we have the system has detected the second partition but we have to reboot our system so you link to sd plus users only get this moving feature which is directly move the application data to the external storage so here inside the external second partition it will be showing 94 percent free so after the what we have to for this tutorial i'm using to move the maps data directly to my external storage so all the application data which is available inside the external internal storage will be directly moved from to the external storage just select link to sd so just check everything and just click ok now it will be showing creating link and then after it will automatically move all of our data to the external storage which will be inside the second partition our sd card that we have created so for this tutorial i am making i am taking an, uh, another example of cm security so i am going to move all of the cm security data to my external storage so from this here you can find inside the maps you can find the link to sd card that would be shown that we uh, that means we have successfully moved the data to the external storage so that's all guys we have successfully move all of our internal application data to the external storage so that's all thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel and share with your friends bye bye we will see you in the next video